Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to install Fabric in Windows. Um, I'm going to show you on a few different like launchers so that you, you can do it wherever you want. Uh, all the links for this will be in the description. Uh, so starting off, Fabric. What is Fabric? It's a mod launcher, basically. It's a way, well, a mod loader, I should say. It just allows you to add mods to Minecraft. That is it. It's like Forge or Neoforged as we have now as well. Why might you want to do it? Well, you just want to add some mods to Minecraft. And there's various ways of doing it. I will show you how to do it in the actual Minecraft launcher. It is the hardest way to do it, but it's actually not that hard. And then I'll show you on some of the other launchers as well. Okay, so fabricmc.net is the actual website so go to that again it will be linked in the description there is a, a nice little wiki as well that you can read as well I, I suggest you do so if you're sort of unsure about this but it's pretty simple so i'm assuming you've already got minecraft you've got it you know you've got it set up already if you don't then i would suggest you go look at a um tutorial for that but download for windows there we go yes save that please thank you uh there we go and have we got it there it is there it is so we'll click on that lovely stuff and you get this the fabric installer so it says client or server now client that means your your actual local version okay very simple that refers to to your own thing uh, and where a server would be obviously a server uh, on which you would play multiplayer so we want client uh, obviously choose your minecraft version i'm going to choose the latest one you it can do snapshots so one of the good things about fabric is that it's very very quick to update that's one of the things it has over forge um it's very very quick to update but i i don't want i don't want the snapshots i just want the minecraft version let it choose the loader version okay so when you sort of move around it might choose you a different one just let that automatically do that select install location that's basically where it should be where your minecraft launcher is actually located hopefully create a profile that is already ticked and yes i want that okay so install please close the minecraft launcher there we go continue done has been installed successfully many mods also require you to put the fabric api into the mods folder we'll do that in a second don't worry let's launch this again there we go lovely stuff and now oh there we go you can see it's been added now it's very very important that you tick that box there because you can see when i untick it it's not shown and that's because it treats fabric as a modded uh, instance okay so just be be aware of that and then once you're here you can see we have that now so let's now add some mods because we do need to so in this minecraft launcher the way to do that is by using that folder and then it should put you into your minecraft instance which is rather nice um and i think you can also oh you can edit that's just to do that okay cool so we can do a bit of that so let's get some actual mods now that would be a good thing and um, i would suggest you either get them from curseforge.com right there and you go to the minecraft thing and where are we uh let's go have we got okay let's just go mods and then we should be able to somewhere around here there you go you can put fabric and then you can get whatever you need or you go to modrinth um which I, I do prefer a little bit over um, CurseForge, but only because they allow you to filter um, a little bit better. Like for instance, not only can you do fabric, but you can also, for instance, put client, which is really, really nice and just, and just a little bit extra handy. So there you go. We can see now we have the fabric API, which is the thing that they said, hey, you might want to also download that so go ahead and get that uh where's the download button here we go now this is the one important thing and you might sometimes get this wrong and especially on curseforge let me just make this bigger uh, and that is because if you do something like this here for instance uh let's 
is the Fabric API here anywhere? There it is. There it is. Um, it, when you load this, it's not too bad because this is literally Fabric. But if you go for a different mod that is also on Forge, for instance, JEI, you might accidentally, you might accidentally, there you go. Can you see that says Forge? You might accidentally end up downloading the wrong one. I've done it. I've done it. I think everyone's done it at least once. Um, so you need to you need to be aware of which one you're downloading. You can see that there says Fabric, okay? So on Forge, you need to just be a little bit aware of that. Here on Modrinth, it's a bit, it's a little bit clearer, but I think it does sometimes also do the same. So you just need to, you, need, you just need to be aware of which one you do. Now here, you need to get the correct version of the one. So 120.1, 120.1. Sometimes Fabric is pretty lenient in which version you can run. But basically, if you load a version and it doesn't work, you try a different version. Again, I've had to do that a few times, but usually pretty good. So there we go. Download. Yes, download that. Thank you very much. OK, so OK, let's click play because um, I need to start the instance first. All of that, yeah, fine, okay, all all good. So let's just load it. It's going to download some extra stuff. So I'll just skip ahead. Excellent, right, so we've got this going off now. Um, I don't need any of this. Oh gosh, the, the music's are starting. There we go, okay. So we've got all of this going up now, uh, which is great. Options, all of that, you can do that, but I don't need any of that. I just actually would like to get to the the mods folder there we go so installations fabric loader let's get that up and there we go and now we've got a mods folder lovely stuff and this folder is currently empty how very sad for it um so what i need to do is if i oh no there's there's my downloads let's get a fabric api and pop that in there and that is basically how you add the mods very simple it's a bit of a faff but it's pretty simple and that is all you need to do now i highly suggest when you're getting fabric mods or any other mods you just use curseforge or modrinth really um i wouldn't trust a lot of other websites and if worse comes to worse look up who has made a particular mod usually you can you can find out about them or uh here there's you can see Mez, go look up to see, you know, where they basically uh, suggest you actually get their mods from. If you're, if you're worried at all at, at any point, that is what I would do. But Coastforge and Modrinth are the ones that I would highly suggest. So that is the hardest way to do it. Uh, if you want to just use the Minecraft launcher, the reason you might want to just use the Minecraft launcher is you don't want to actually run another launcher which is totally fair you might just want to use the vanilla one and you're used to it and that is kind of how you want to do it and that's totally fair and that is how you then do that you've got some other options curseforge the website has also got its own launcher uh, and the way you, you make a fabric profile here is there you go you, you click on create custom profile give it a profile name tick that block again it auto selects that need a name so fabric like that and create now why might you not want to use the curse forge uh launcher it's got adverts which you might not like uh but the adverts do go towards the actual mod makers so you might want to support them in that manner uh, and then from here you can basically add um mods as well so you can browse mods uh there it is and now you can just add some mods if you fancy and that is an easy a much easier way of doing it and basically the other launchers are quite similar so there's also a prism launcher which is sort of like multi mc again i'm going to assume you've got to the point where you've downloaded it and put your own um account you've added that but again add instance very very similar uh fabric here on the on the side choose the little star will tell you the sort of most up-to-date version, basically. Again, you've got some filters, but really, that, that's that's it. You, you've got all of that. Fabric, that, that done. 
and it and it's right there and then to get into the mods folder you can click um the folder right there and the modrinth again the website has its own version as well which is really quite nice this has only just come out so there you go there's the button um what do we want we want fabric game version 120.1 again we need to type in a name i think before it lets you create there we go and there it is downloading stuff and that is basically how you um how you install fabric in a variety of minecraft launchers if at any point you get some sort of um error and it does happen especially when you add a lot of mods what i would say is add mods slowly like one by one and then you can easily figure out which mod is causing the problem if you add like you know 20 at once then you kind of need to take one away each time and reload and see if that happens a lot of the time again check to see if you've got the fabric mod and not like the forge or quilt mod or you've maybe got the wrong version those are the most common reasons why you will not be able to launch um a, a mod basically so keep that in mind hopefully this has helped if it has do the like and comment and subscribing thing uh, and i will try to answer any vague problems that you might have in the description well in in the comments below so i i will try if i'm able um so thank you all Happy Minecrafting, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.